closer. Thanks for joining me at home. We're out on another ride out. Uh, I'm going to discuss what mileage have we got on here. 464, so near enough the first 500 miles of ownership of the CCM Spitfire 6. I'm going to put it on trip number one. <coughs> I just filled up with fuel. Uh, the fuel light came on. Hang on, we'll just fire her up. Lovely. The fuel light came on. Uh, you can hardly see the fuel light, so just a little video of things I've noticed. We'll pull over uh, a little bit further into the ride, but yeah, we'll we'll talk about a few things I've noticed uh, on the first 500 miles of ownership. Now, that's one. The, the side stand requires a little bit of persuasion. It doesn't spring up, but probably nothing that a bit of uh, grease or whatever would do, or oil. Uh, we'll go around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds gorgeous. <laughs> Lovely. So yeah, uh, what was I saying? Where where was I? Yeah. So first thing I noticed really is, uh, well, I'm running the bike in. So first service will be due, I think between sort of 500 and 800 miles. So. I'm probably going to take it up to the 800 mile before I get it serviced. I think they do actually come to your house and service the bike. I'm not quite sure on the cost of that, I'll have to look into that. Um, but yeah, these lights on here, they're not very bright at all. So, constantly have to check that the indicators aren't left on, I have to, uh, you know, turning off at a junction or whatever. So that's one thing I've noticed. No real big deal. But you do, you do have to be aware of that. Um, yeah, so I've generally, I've generally just I've put uh, fuel in. Like I say, I've set the counter. Sorry if I'm shouting. A bit breezy today. Try to talk over the noise of the bike as well. <laughs> but yeah, overall, no real sort of, no real major issues with the bike. Uh, yeah, overall, uh, you know, very happy. Trying to keep the bike below you sort of uh, 5,000 RPM in the running in process. It's a lovely road down this way. Lovely road. Lovely day today as well. Uh, sun's out and about. Couldn't resist the blast though. <coughs> Excuse me. On the new machine. Actually handles rather well to be fair. I have done a uh, full review on the bike. Uh, I'll stick a link in the corner of the screen. Up here somewhere. <laughs> for you to have a look at if you're interested. Which are my sort of um, overall views on the bike. Hello sir. Quite a few bikes out today. Making the most of the last bit of the sun that we have. I've got my thermals on underneath today. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I wimped out a little bit there. It's a very comfortable bike to ride. However, very noisy. Which all adds to the fun of riding of, uh, you know, the CCM.
or they're knocking the old pub down there. Not really many pubs around this, uh, these areas now. A few and far between, to be fair. I'm not really too sure on how many times I'm going to be going to manage to get out on this bike uh, as the winter approaches. It's not really uh, an all-round, all-year-round bike. I suppose it could be, but not for me. Um, gearbox on here is, I would say, the one of the smoothest gearboxes uh, I've come across to be fair. Done a very good job with the, with the bike to be fair. Suspension wise, uh, I think I think it's set up reasonably well for me. I'm sort of 13 stone, 12 and a half, 13 stone and Uh, the only thing I have noticed is what would it be in the twin discs on the front of the front road is because uh, the bike doesn't weigh that much. Oh, just soaking up these corners. Because the bike doesn't weigh too much, you do get a bit of nose dive on the forks when you uh, when you brake, so but yeah. I think overall, as a you know, for the normal riding of the bike, probably just leave the suspension as it is. It's actually, a fairly uh, comfy ride. It's not rattling my teeth out, and uh, it's a very comfortable, surprisingly very comfortable. So. problems out with the overtake. Like I say, can't give it too many beans, uh, trying to keep the revs fairly low in the running in process. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Perfect day to be out on this machine today. So yeah, what I generally do is um, reset the trip counter and uh, I'm generally getting about 100 and, I think about 110 miles before the light comes on from the bike being full. So that's my kind of uh, gauge because there is no fuel gauge on here. You're just dependent on that light, which is like I say, very, it's very difficult to see, which uh, yeah, is a bit of a negative. Nothing major, you just have to keep an eye on the fuel. We don't want to get caught out when you're out on the old, uh, on the old bike. I mean, I've, I've probably been out for a good hour so far today, and I've not really sort of planned my route really, I'm just out on a normal, uh, well, just a jolly really, which is what I like, you know. See all this lovely countryside and uh, just enjoy the bike really. I'll take a right here, I'll head towards Roxham. Some lovely twisty roads up here as well. Uh, yeah, if you're new, if you if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Whoop. Uh, plenty more bike content coming. Uh, bike reviews, ride outs. Um, hope to get some new some new uh, new bike reviews on the channel soon. Again, uh, weather dependent. It's no fun riding in the rain. Uh, 
Hub. <laughs> Should really stop my way through the village rather than uh, waking the dead. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, overall, I can't really grumble. Uh, there is one or two things I have noticed, which, yeah, I'll talk about them in a minute when we pull over. Nothing major, but so stay tuned. <coughs> don't know if it, don't know if it's a good idea putting this open face uh, helmet on today, because it is very windy and. Uh, a little bit chilly, although the sun's out. No uh, outside temperature on the on the dash there, which would be nice. I would say it's probably about well ten degrees, uh, but it is very very breezy. So I can't I can't compliment that gearbox enough, really. Amazed at, I am absolutely, absolutely amazed at that. Um, this bike has no rider aids, nothing. It's completely raw. No, uh, no rider modes, no traction control, no ABS. Like I say, there is a, a review on the channel if you fancy a look. Uh, where I run through all the specs of the bike. Yeah, the old temperature. Engine temperature is fairly low today, probably to do with how cold it is outside, and I'm not uh, sitting in any traffic, so uh, the, uh, the fan does a ge generally does a good job in keeping the bike cool. Uh, yeah, oh, coming to the the town of Roxham. Oh, lovely sweeping bend there. Actually handles very, very well. This brakes are very good. Rear brake seems to be better now after a little bit of bedding in. So, uh, hello, sir. Hello, sir. I'll say plenty of people out and about today enjoying the, I think, the last bit of, well, not summer now, but yeah. Certainly uh, a snap to the air. Gorgeous. It's got the Marzocchi suspension on here as well. And the YSS, I think it's YSS on the rear. It's doing a very good job. I'm, I like I say, I'm not gonna mess with that. I think uh, I think it's pretty uh, pretty good. The gear with the gear shift uh, pe uh, foot pedal. When I first went out on the bike for the very first time I, th I thought to myself maybe I need to adjust that. It's fairly high up but I've actually got used to it. That's one thing that uh, you should really do with these bikes is give them, give, you know, just give them a bit of a, a chance really. You don't want to be adjusting everything and then everything seems to be in a good position. I have adjusted the lever slightly. They are adjustable and uh, the clutch and the brake lever. They were extras that I paid for. Uh, I've moved them out a little bit. Hello. Loads of people out about today. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the, the brake pedal is I think that's in a, re a reasonable position there as well. I won't be adjusting anything there. I don't even know if it is adjustable actually. Um, it's just bikes everywhere today, which is good to see. It's good to see really. R1. Very nice. We'll go down here. Lovely paint finish as well on here. Uh, there's no lockable fuel cap on here. Uh, it's no big deal. Uh, 
no big deal at all. I have actually put some paint protection on this tank to keep it keep it in a good nick. But she handles absolutely wonderful. Lovely, absolutely wonderful. Got a bumpy section of road as well and not having any real issues with the suspension or the handle or anything. The attention to detail on this bike is, uh, yeah, they say second to none. I've, I've, looked, I've looked around this bike. Uh, it's, it's just a pleasure just to look at, you know, uh, the engineering, the, uh, the, the quality, the, the, the frame, the welds, everything. I'll pull over just up here, actually, and we'll have a, have a wander around the bike. But, yeah, my first, uh, so kind of 500 mile, just under 500 mile has been trouble free, really. Which really, when you buy, new, buy a new bike, yeah, you generally can find uh, a few teething problems here and there, but yeah, can't really, can't really grumble. Uh, they come in limited numbers as well, these, so uh, 300 of these models. Uh, if you're lucky, you might be able to snap one up. If you fancy one, uh, contact CCM Bolton. Uh, I'll stick a link in actually in the description. Have a look on their website. Uh, there's a, you know, other models out there. Um, where are we? Where well, I am, Hoverton. It's a lovely little village around here. It's just bites out everywhere today. Enjoying the sun, enjoying the weather. <coughs> it's not bad on fuel either. I mean, I didn't buy this bike to worry about fuel, but just in general uh, conversation, you know, it's, it's not bad on fuel. We're pulling just up here. I'll we'll run through a few of the things that I've kind of noticed on the bike, which not really annoying, but uh, oh, it's closed. Oh, that's all right. Let's just stop here. Oh. So, anyway, first of all, finding neutral, not really a problem. I think now the bike is kind of, you know, had a few miles clocked up and I've been out and about, it's, or whether it's just because I'm getting used to it or not. No real problems there. Um, can be a little bit tricky. Sometimes you have to go first, second, and then down again. And just sort of flick between the two, obviously, uh, to try and get it in a, in a neutral. But you have to get off the bike to... Well, first of all, before we get off the bike, I'm going to talk about... I mean, they, CCM, if you're listening or you're watching, uh, you could put bungs in here. You know, plastic bungs just to block these holes up. That would be um, something I'd uh, suggest. All right, let's jump off the bike. Side stand, you have to get off the bike to put the side stand down. You kind of have to put your foot in front of the exhaust as well, or behind the exhaust, but no big deal. Um, yeah. Let's kill the bike. Ah, oh, peace and quiet. Lovely. Uh, what else was there? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll tell you what we have noticed on here as well, is this radio cap. The, these are around the wrong way. So generally you turn it to the, the right to, to, to uh, you know, to uh, screw it on, which you do, and you turn it to the left to undo it. But these arrows are actually around the wrong way. I don't know if you can see this here. Off to the, to the right and on to the left. So I'm not sure <laughs> what's got going on there. Uh, but there you go, it's just something I noticed because I, I I do like to uh you know look get, you know go go through the bike with the fine teeth going really. Yeah. Another thing I have noticed on here is the you know, these indentations on the tank. Now um I don't know if that's avoidable, obviously because it's, it's I take it's to do with the steer and lock with the bike. But they've had to Yeah, this is a this is a composite tank, so They've had to put these little indentations in both sides to uh, cater for that as well. But yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, 
I, I love the look of the bike. I love everything about the bike. Um, but yeah, another thing I did notice is there was a wire. I don't know if you can see it down here, but see this here, this this hit this sleeve on the wire was pulled all the way up to the loom and, and whatever. And uh, that's just a bare sort of a, uh, a wire without any insulation over it, you know, the, the, the sleeve over it. So I just slid that down over it. That's something else I noticed. Um, you know, which which kind of didn't bother me too much, but I thought, yeah, <clears throat> it's quite vulnerable that wire down there. I don't know if it's either for the the neutral light or maybe the gear position indicator. If you know, let me know in the comments below. Yeah, but um, yeah, very nice, very nice indeed. Anything you do have to do, obviously, because I've just turned the bike off on these buttons on here. You do. It's obviously still powered up, so I'd have to get the key for back. But I'm not going to sit here for too long, because I'm. I want to ride the bike. Uh, what else have I noticed? <coughs> I have the bike on an optimizer as well, as recommended by CCM, and um, it's a lithium battery on here, so it's all plumb plumbed in, plumbed into the optimizer when I'm not riding the bike. Uh, yeah, tires are getting nicely, nice, nicely scrubbed in there. Yeah, yeah. So the YSS sh uh, shock absorber on the rear there is, I think that's set up fine actually. I'm not, I'm really not too, too concerned about that. Um, no issues there. I have got a, a cover for the air filter, which I bought. But generally, daytime riding, well, I'll say daytime riding, day or nighttime riding, in the dry, no intentions in going out in the rain, shouldn't really be much of a problem. So. Not really too worried about that, you know. Uh, but yeah, you know the the the, lo the lighting uh, on here, the bulbs. I mean, you can just about see that on there. But yeah, not don't really have too many issues starting the bike. Uh, the bike's warm now, so you can just press the fire button, give it a little bit of take the slack up on the on the throttle there. There we go. On the cold start, which is this one here. You go through that process, but you just catch it on that one and then hold it in for a little while. Which is not going to do anything now because the bike is warm, but... Right, let's jump on. But yeah, side sand doesn't quite flick up. But, uh, no real issues. Nothing to worry about there. rides very very well because like, when I bought this bike I never test rode one um, and I was a little bit kind of weary you know uh, you know did, obviously it's a lovely looking bike but looks aren't at actually everything are they the bike has to ride and perform well but it's actually exceeding my expectations as far as that goes um, take it right here but I'll let you know let you know a little secret actually I did order one of these well say order one I put a deposit down on one first time round and I don't know what it was but I I cancelled the I cancelled the order and I ended up I don't know what it was but I just had second thoughts and because they're not cheap bikes well I say they're not you can spec these bikes out and spend a lot of money, but yeah, I mean, for the for the base bike, base bike, you're talking. I think it's about nine thousand, uh, ten grand. Best part of ten grand. The time you start, you know, going for optional extras, then you, you know the, it, the the price does start shooting up. Now, I cancelled the order because I had second thoughts about buying the bike, and as soon as I cancelled the order, I regretted cancelling the order and was like I just kept thinking about it and cut a long story short obviously I ordered another you know I, I put another deposit down and uh, yeah I, I didn't back out but it, it was the main re re reason really was is because I, I've not even really seen one and I kind of like was a bit concerned and but then I you know I did look at second hand 
prices of these bikes and, and they, they're generally ve very very good so I kind of thought to myself if I don't if I don't decide to keep it or it's not exactly what I want I can always sell it and uh, yeah I can always sell it on it's no big no big deal is it really but yeah I must admit when I when I did my first impressions are and they say generally first impressions are everlasting as they say it's uh, it's it really ama it, ama it amazed me looking looking at the bike and that um, yeah we'll see see how it goes but like I say this is purely just my opinion on the first 500 miles and I've had no real dramas or nothing to write home about really majorly to to uh, to worry about and I will get it serviced by CCM I say there is there is some service technicians out there I think that they they actually come to your house right by the broads here we are let's have a look see if we can go down here and I love the sound of that. I love the single. I, lo I, I, I just uh, <laughs> here we are. Warning. Oh, the water level's quite high as well. Actually, come over there by the look of it. Oh, that's because we're in third gear. No dramas. Some lovely boats here as well. But they're not cheap either. She likes to turn. A little bit of counterbalance going on there. Oh, foot down. The last minute. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Some lovely properties around this area as well. Uh, a few quid's worth. That's for sure. Well, anyway, I really do appreciate you joining me today on a little... Um, Sort of overview of my first 500 mile ownership experience and uh, yeah thanks for joining me hopefully I'll see you on the next video so take care see you soon